everybody, you're watching Ad Free Tenacious Viking TV. Welcome back to Sim Airport. I'm Tenacious Viking, your airport manager host, and uh, I've got this gate ready to go. I'm going to schedule planes in a second here. Um, doing what I did. Uh, what did I? Oh, I added some uh, staff already, so I'm already down to 38,000. So yeah. Hmm. Uh, lots of ticketing problems here. I think we're going to have to add that couple ticketing desks. Uh, these things are more consistent now than they were before, which is good. It's it, you know it's, it's it's a learning curve now, but uh, but it's okay. And I got to add some benches in it as well. But first, I'm going to schedule some dang planes. Crying out loud. Sixty-seven, fifty-six, thirty-four, forty-one. It looks like the thirty-four won't get one, so we'll schedule this one. We'll accept this one. Oh, is that the one that has a, a morning and afternoon? Yeah, we'll do them both. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll do this morning one. Oh, and uh, he's got an afternoon. Well, I might have better. Let's see, 39. No, I don't. <laughs> These three are the best, 55 and 40, 41. So, yeah, we'll accept both of those. And we'll also accept this one. Okay, let's get those scheduled. D -d 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 -d. That's the that's a morning. I want to knock this back another fifteen or so. Oop. There, we'll get the afternoon one in, and then um. Yeah, we're going to move night times back just a little bit also. You you have to you only have to start in at, at in the time zone that it says now, um which is very helpful. It gives you some flexibility, you know, cuz I can stagger these now instead of having them all arrive at the same time. Now, I want to take an afternoon flight out of here. If I if I take them out of both, then I'm just going to be in the same predicament. So I think I won't do that. I'll just do that. See if we can get you know because we're getting behind and maybe if I move these up 15 minutes here and then leave a gap. Uh, there to eh, a little later than that, maybe. Yeah, right about there to get caught up. And with a couple gaps here, this should also help the um, the ground crew and and so on get uh, catch their b breath. So let's see what happens when we run a day. Now, how much am I making a day? Uh, uh well, t tomorrow I will. <laughs> so we'll run through this. I'll in the meantime, I have enough money now to. Uh, to get some benches in. Um, comfort. Comfort, comfort. Oh, my people. Um, I'll try to put these in the middle. I didn't do that last time, and that kind of sucked. There, more benches uh, for everybody. Um, we probably need, in order to get past our satisfaction up now, we need... We still have a hunger problem. I don't have any room to add any more stuff. They'll have to eat what they got there. Um, information, boredom. Rest is better, okay. Um, but what I need to do now is get... Uh, yeah, get a couple more desks open. Oh, well, I also could put in some chaos. Let's try that first, shall we? See what that does. And then I can also put um, an information kiosk. A flight info kiosk. Where can I put that? Uh, 
I'm gonna just take a big shot and put it here right now for now. See if people use that. And see if that helps any. I probably should have put that back a row and then just actually put a wall there, but a well. Um Okay, it'll be interesting to see if people use this, and I'm not going to find out till the next day, but that's okay, because that'll be the first day with the new gate. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay, as soon as that date switches over, I should, should see a bigger number there for income, and that'll give me some working capital, I hope. Um, Twelve... The, the downside to scheduling uh, flights a little later uh, is that... Um, it doesn't clear until, you know, almost 1 o'clock in the morning, and then at 3 o'clock they started showing up for, for early flights. So there's that, but that's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Look at the quiet airport. Oh, it's so nice. Ah. Now, I need the money for uh, lowering property taxes, and I think that's 62000 The next one is 94000 And I don't want to see that show up. Then I get uh, the next priority is maintenance. Um, I'm, oh. I haven't done technology yet, huh? Okay, I haven't been... Oh, fuel ports. Well, I guess I can do that anyway. Um, I should look into the cost of a fuel system. I don't even know where that stuff is <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh, arcades, apparel stand. See, I don't want an apparel stand in your port. I mean, that's a low priority. All right, let's see what we're doing here. This is an 8 o'clock departure, 8 a.m. This is a 8.15 departure and an 8.45 departure. Seven thirty, out of here. Wow, that one left in a hurry. Okay, yeah, we're doing we're doing well, I think. Now, are there any uh, those uh, ticketing kiosks helped a lot? Just took a big load off of these, and I didn't have to add people. Uh, maybe that's one of the secrets to this thing is to uh, to have more ticketing kiosks. I mean, I'd go to a kiosk, but. Half the time when I go to a kiosk at an airport, the stupid thing doesn't work. And then I go to the gate and they go, uh, the, the desk, and they go, Oh, well, I can see why you're having trouble. Because I, I had to figure out how to fix this now. I, I don't know. I just, I'm a jinx, I think, at an airport. Um, so let's, uh, let's study this game. Let's, this, see, this shouldn't take that long. There's only seven people. So 15 schedule and he's off at 11:15. That's good. That gives you a little time. If you have a, a smaller flight sprinkled in uh, here and there during the day on these small gates, uh, they're, they're not going to be a problem. Okay, this should be a 2:15 departure. He's actually arrived a little early. Um, are we waiting for passengers anymore? That's the real key, is are we getting them to the gates in time? It looks like we are. Um, yeah, that's better. That was a, I think that was a ticketing and possibly a security uh, problem. Do I not have anybody on that fourth? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh -huh. Couldn't tell if I had anybody on this uh, scanner or not. 4.30 departure? Wow, he's he's early. Very early. Okay, so everybody's running early now. <laughs> Watch, a couple days from now I'll have all kinds of problems. And go, oh, they're already late. That's good. And, and it doesn't you know hurt to study this because in the meantime I'm building up some money and, and I can start to do some serious stuff. Because the next stage is very expensive. You know, you 
starting to add floors. I haven't even finished the, the main floor here yet. I want to get this built out to here before I go to a second story. And I'm not going to build a second story, uh, you know, very, very far back. I'll, I'll maybe have it right here. Geez, that's too small, isn't it? I don't know how to do this. I'm, um, yeah, I, I'm li I'd be lying if I told you I had this all figured out. I do not. I absolutely do not. Now, up on the main, on the upper levels, um, instead of seats, I may have to put a um, walkway. Uh, what do they call those things? <laughs> a moving walkway. Okay, that was close. Um, so, yeah, there's that. How much do windows cost? 150 Wow. I'd like to put in some windows, but it's just uh, an expense I don't have. Okay, sixty-three thousand a day. That's that's more like it. Now now we're 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 getting some working capital, and I'm gonna pay down some debt. Uh, that reduces our interest, um, and it's raining now. Does that slow flights down? Slow arrivals and stuff? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's implemented. Um, Now, before I do fuel, I have to have a, a hanger, don't I? I'll try the hangers. Uh, goods. That's objects, huh? Structures. Medium hangers, $30,000. I can do that. Um, but I've got other... Uh, Utilities, is that where I do the fuel? Oh. Conveyor down transition? Oh, conveyor. Okay, I was thinking <laughs> escalator. I'm going to need a transition for it. Okay, the fuel depot, 15,000. Fuel tanks. A large fuel tank, 93. I, I don't really want a monkey with the small one, but. Um, hmm. I'd like to have the fuel in place because I think I need to run it along, kind of along the taxiways to stay out of the way of the of the conveyors. So I wanna. I wonder if I want to do. A, oh, I, I can't tell how you're supposed to do this here. I don't know how they want you to orient this. That looks like the... Oh, there, I think, is how they want it done. Oh, that's terrible. <sighs> hmm. That is terrible. Okay. Uh, next time I get sixty thousand, I got to get that property tax down. I, that's that's killing me. Where am I? Um, my forecast maintenance, fuel services, runways, transport and deliveries. There is a finance hub. Okay. Uh, profit and loss. Uh, staff retail. Okay, I'm netting 293 on retail, so at least I'm not losing anything there. Infrastructure, I that's, you know. Transportation, runway fees, 450. It's not bad. I'm basically spending everything I have. Um. Eight hundred thirty-one thousand. Push comes to shove, I'll sell this thing and use the money to start my next one. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, let's see, we're sh okay. We're running the day as, as soon as we. But well, I got to figure out what that cost is again. Sixty-two thousand. Okay. As soon as I get to sixty-two thousand, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to lower the taxes. I didn't see the tax taxes on that. They show you the taxes? That's dumb. Dale transportation only feature my airline fees. That's infrastructure, retail, staff. Uh I wanna know what the taxes are. I should be able to see that. Okay, income tax twenty one two. Property tax isn't gonna be isn't that much yet, but it will be. Uh, so maybe I won't spend the money lowering property taxes right now. I've got the income tax down about as low as it can get, I think. Yeah. Um, I think maintenance is more important. Uh, we're going to do that. Um, and then light rail transit, which is 50000 Okay, can do that. How much does it cost then to buy this parcel of land? Five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Wow. That's why I want to pay off the debt. So if I get you know like four hundred thousand, um, I can just go ahead and borrow the money and, and do it and, and start. You know. Uh, right now, what I want to do is try to finish this. I'm not going to have the money for it. I need uh, uh, seventy-six thousand. Okay. I want to finish that, then I can start a second floor, and then I can begin to uh, add the, the, the large gates out here and put the floors in for it. Um, I'm not sure if the large gates you need second and third floor. I don't quite understand, and it doesn't. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't looked that up, actually, is, is the problem. Um, so, still don't know. There's a, there's a, a basement level and there's a sub basement level, and I'm not sure what you'd use that for. I just I don't quite know why I would want to do that, but um, I'll maybe think of something. We take a look at the report from I'll close that. Um, we've we've done well the last few days. Um, no delays. No. Um, yeah. Good for me. Operations. Commercial pricing is kind of high. Transport and deliveries. We've got that locked at the moment. Runways. Uh, we're in good shape. Fuel services. Maintenance. We don't have that as allowed during the daily maintenance window. Objects at or below their maintenance thresholds will be repaired. Well, undergoing repair objects are temporarily out of service for use. Regular maintenance is most cost-effective, but hinders airport operations. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Um, transport capacity. Peak transit demands. Yeah, I need that uh, that train. Um, Got to have that. Uh, so that's probably the next research goal is... Uh, light rail transit, and I can do that now. I'll order that so that it gets done, and uh, and I can add the the light rail. That's going to be kind of critical now to get people in and out of here. Otherwise, things are running smoothly. I, uh, you know, I'm I'm getting sixty-eight thousand a day. I I think I can start expanding with that. I'll play some off off uh, off camera and uh, and try to get this building started so I can kind of see how I need to do stuff. I may have to move these benches along here out of the way a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm just Maybe I'll put the bathrooms up here uh, so I have room for uh, escalators here. Uh, and they're going to have to go around the escalators to get to the food, which is okay. I'd like to have it out in the open so they bump into it, but it's just it's not an option. <laughs> Maybe, well, I was going to say, maybe eventually we move the food over to here and have these escalators. No, I, I can't do that because there's no place to go upstairs. Then. <laughs> uh, uh, multiple stories really adds a lot of... Uh, look at all those people using the uh, the kiosks, the ticketing kiosks. There are hardly any of them going to the desks. That's awesome. Now, 
does that mean that they have carry on then because they don't need to put their luggage on a deal because they're going straight to the security after they get done at the ticket kiosk I had no idea that many people would would use that that's uh, I don't know if that's realistic or or what but uh, um, we're making really good progress I think uh, next time uh, we ought to be able to do some expansion and get ready to open a couple of large gates and that's gonna be fun um, that's that's I think that's going to really open the floodgates in terms of uh, of <laughs> everything, uh, but uh, including profits uh, to to plug back in so we can really start to build this airport. Uh, uh, thanks for being patient. I've tried to play some offline so that uh, off camera so that you know you don't have to watch all the excruciating waiting and details. And uh, yeah, I played through about five six days off uh, off camera uh, before the, the episode before this one. So. Um, I appreciate your patience, and uh, some of you are appreciating the fact that I'm playing Sam Airport because apparently not a lot of people are because they're chickens. <laughs> and it, I haven't been able to say that for a while. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, welcome new subscribers. Check out my Patreon uh, page. See if you'd like to be a uh, part of sponsoring, um, uh, of supporting ad free TV, uh, ad, ad free YouTube. And uh, remember that. In a world which, I don't know, just seems increasingly mean, um, you can make a big difference by simply being kind. Join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Sim Airport. <laughs>